Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aquarius. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So, Aquarius. So, um, I feel like you are suspicious of someone. I feel like... Um, I'm just going here because these are the first two cards out in your reading and it is about the Pied Piper and the disaster. So what I feel is that something did indeed already happen in your relationship because the fire card is in the reverse indicating that it's a cooling off period. Okay, so it's a cooling off period, but that there was some very intense energies. Something felt like a disaster. Why? Because of the Pied Piper and this family card. So because um, you may have discovered that somebody was leading you on with the Pied Piper about something. Okay? Somebody was lying to you. That's why something exploded. And that's why you are here in this cooling off period, because this is you, Queen of Swords. So this is you, and you're sitting here in this cooling off period. Um, the hangman is in the reverse. So clearly, there's something now that you do understand, uh, but you are still very much guarded. So something has come to your attention. You do understand this now. Um, but I feel like you... It's a question of giving this person another chance is what I, what I think it is. And, because I feel like they're asking for it. They're asking for another chance. So we have the moon on top of this and the moon is um it it's about the things that pull at us emotionally um it could be about illusions um, pretending so you may have a very sensitive spot uh with within you surrounding uh deception um surrounding uh, somebody deceiving you, you know, like maybe somebody has deceived you in the past and that has left a sensitive spot uh, in you and now it appears like it's happening again. So you're very guarded. So something intense happened, something was exposed, somebody's lie was exposed. Um, it could be, this is a card of somebody coming clean, uh, hidden things. Um, so they're coming clean about a lie, but maybe, maybe you don't believe that they're telling you everything possibly. Um, and so we have this, uh, this scythe here. So what I feel that something did come out, I feel that there could have been an argument, a confrontation, a break in a relationship. Um, something at that point, at whatever was discovered, something needs to go. And, and this possibly is what was discussed or what you've told them. Something needs to go. If you, it's like, if, if, if we want to have a relationship, this needs to go. If you want to have a relationship with me, this needs to go. It's that type of energy. And, and so, um, the Grand Duke here, well, this is like a wait and see type of... Uh, position so maybe you're taking a kind of wait and see maybe you're thinking uh about what they're telling you 
okay? You're imagining what here with this uh, seven of love, it is a card of illusions and imagined things. And what you're imagining is what this person is doing in their social life, in their time apart when you're not together. That's what you're wondering about. That's what's occupying your mind and is possibly uh, an obstacle right now um, with regards to this second chance, wiping the slate clean, because you don't think that they have entirely wiped the slate clean. You feel they're still hiding something. This card's in the upright. That's a card of hidden things and secrets. So although they did come clean about something, it's possible they never had a choice, you know. Maybe they were forced to come clean about some things, but kept other things hidden. And maybe you sense this or feel this, because I did see the Queen of Cups somewhere. <laughs> Where? I don't know. But anyway, so you're... You're very feeling very intuitive. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look how her hand is. It, look where it's placed. You're feeling something. Look at that. You're feeling something. That's why your sword is up. You are not trusting what they told you. There they are telling you everything you want to hear. Okay? But you think... Uh, I feel like you think they're not being fair. This could be about fairness. Um, you're going back and forth and back and forth as to whether or not you want to get back on board that ship and sail into those choppy waters again with this person. So you're, you're going within, you're also looking back. So you're looking back behind you for wisdom, lessons learned um, to help you decide. You're going within, uh, looking, seeking for answers to, uh, to help you decide also. This is about giving somebody uh, a, another chance. This is what this person, this person has come to you and asked you for another chance. So this is about your decision on that. Second chance, a chance to overcome the difficulties between you. There could have been a, a, a talk, a meeting, um... talk, a meeting, and I feel like, yes, there they come, they're making you a new promise, I promise not to lie again, okay, um, I promise to be, you know, open and honest, and I promise to change, or to cut out whatever this is, because I want to have a relationship with you, I want you back, you know, but you are feeling, it's like your thoughts are very scattered when it comes to what's being promised to you, and it's like you have this one thought on your mind, one thing on your mind, okay, um, because you this one thing is, are they lying? Are they lying or not? You know, are they telling me the truth this time? Or are they lying? And you got a feeling that they're still hiding something. Um, it could be that you're feeling at, an, at a low here, emotionally. You don't know what to do. Your emotions, they're all over the place. Because, because 
of the past that you're remembering here, that you're going back to, to seek wisdom and answers. And because of what just happened, okay, between you two. You may be questioning whether or not this person loves you and uh, whether or not to go forward because that's what's going on in your inner house. It's a question, a judgment on that couple with all of the information that you have. You see all the books stacked up there? Your thinking, that's what's going on in your house or your inner house, okay? Um, just set those there for a moment. So we have them coming to make up. They want you back. You don't know how to proceed. Uh, there's the chariot um, and the harvest card. So the harvest is like, well, you could be thinking what you have gained thus far for the effort you put in. And based on that, uh, should you move forward with this person? There's the couple again. Look, the decision for the future on this couple. What will you gain if you accept what is being offered here? Okay. Now, this person, uh, there's the Eight of Swords, and we have two people here. And so, um, I feel like this person has come back, and they have released you from, from bondage there, but the swords are all still standing, you know. Um, it feels like they may have eased some of your fears, but not all of your fears here. That there's still something that they're keeping from you because he has a pouch on the side and that's where they hold things. And you see it's away from you. It's not even close to you. It's away from you. So it's like there's something that they're keeping hidden. This is what you're thinking of here as you uh, reflect, regroup, rethink, you know, and it's just like you've got this feeling, you know, and and here you are. If you're going forward, it's, you see, with this magician, everything's up in the air. All, all, everything's up in the air. And if you're to move forward with this person, and if you're to get to that calmer shore, you need to get rid of these ghosts. Because here, the ghosts are being uh, brought ashore. And that, for sure, does not, uh, does not speak to a good outcome. Okay? You, you need to get rid of the ghosts of the past before you get to that shore. So it's like, it feels like there's a, a bit of a lucky break or a gift or somebody, this person could give you, literally give you a gift. You're wondering, this person is going, yeah. Yeah, see, there again. This person may give you a gift. They may give you what you, yeah, 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 that's it. Because he's telling you what you want to hear. So he's giving you things. He's telling you what you want to hear or giving only, I feel like, what he has to. Because the question remains, if you look closely at that card, there's there's no bow in uh well there's no arrow in Cupid's bow. So your question, see how she looks away from him. He's looking at her. She's kind of hmm, I don't know. D does he really love me? That's the thing. 
That's, that's the question. So we see concern over some change that is taking place here. And that's what we see. Um, And so th this is where this stands. It's like, I feel like you, you kind of give them this ultimatum, you know, it, for whatever's been exposed. This, you know, if you want to have a relationship with me, then this needs to go. And they're going to promise you that, that that's definitely going to go. They're going to promise you that because they're telling you what you need. They're giving you what you need. They may give you a gift also. But ultimately, it is going to be your decision here. Look, this is all about a decision about a couple, about the future of this couple, um, and whether or not you can believe this person. All of your fears past and present need to go if you uh, if you are going to move forward and move forward successfully with this person so everything everything because you've got a feeling so um, don't sweep that aside you know listen to your intuition and judgment is here so just lay 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 it all out on the table and, and um, Make sure that you you feel right about this decision when you take it. There's it's all about the decision. There's the ace of uh, uh, swords. You must be at peace with this decision when you make it. Is what I'm trying to say. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.